Hello my friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. My channel is Turquoise Dreaming, in case you've never been here before. And uh, I do junk journaling, crafting, paper crafting, thrifting, all kinds of fun things here. So come on in and let me show you what I'm working on today. I uh, showed you this yesterday in my hashtag stash to treasure video for that open collab of which I'm one of the four co-hosts. And uh, I, uh, we together put the fabric on the spine. So since yesterday's video, I worked on this journal some more. I've got it kind of almost done, but not quite. So I wasn't quite ready for a flip through today. But uh, let me show you what I got done. So here is the spine now. It's all together. You know, the little it's a little journal. You can see my hand, how small it is, right? It's one of these little... Beatrix Potter books, The Tale of Benjamin Money, and uh, it's got three signatures already sewn in, and I added this little rickrack here. It added, um, I wasn't really planning on doing that, but then when I kind of auditioned it, it just looked, it was just a perfect finishing touch, and it just really brought a lot of, you know, um, something that was needed, uh, basically a little bit more color to the cover and it was just like the, the perfect finishing touch I think to this cover and uh, then on the other side we have also the Rick Rack the back and so let me show you what I've got going on here I'm not going to do a flip through right now but I just want to show you I've added some pom pom trim I've added a little Rick Rack I've added some pockets and things here's the pom pom here's a pocket here that I added and uh, I kind of continued the fabric uh, inspiration that I got yesterday in my own video, <laughs> uh, you, you know, where I was focusing on fabric. And I did this fabric pocket, which is backed by one of the book pages from this book, so it made it nice and sturdy. I really like how it turned out. And uh, I also did a couple other things with fabric here. I did a little fabric, kind of like a ribbon. And all you do to make a fabric ribbon is just cut a piece of fabric that is uh, kind of the shit you know the size of the ribbon you might want so I wanted about this size for the edge of this page and I just cut down both sides with my pinking shears you can cut it straight too you don't have to cut pinking with pinking shears I just like that and you can even tear it here's a flip up up I did here it kind of flip up with a it's hinged kind of like a tip in and I backed it with one of the pages from the book also I just, I've been using the pages in the book, some of them with pictures on I used in the book and the others I'm using for whatever I need them for. I added some little embellishments like this one right here with a little chick on it and that's felt behind the chick. And uh, so I don't want to, you know, do a flip through or anything right now, but I just wanted to show you I'm making progress. Here's a couple of other little flip, flip ups with uh, fabric and backed by book page there. And on um, back here, this is a belly band made from a book page one of the book pages from this book. So today I just wanted to, one of the ways I wanted to finish up was to make a few journaling cards. So I have some of the, uh, let me put that over to the side. I have some of the pages here and I wanted to do some kind of springy, Easter-y type colors that would uh, go with this journal. So I picked out some pink and blue uh, cardstock. So I thought we'd cut these pages down and um, Kind of make some drilling cards. I don't want to look too much at the other side because I already picked out my favorite, pretty much my favorite. I guess I am going to look at them. My favorite side because there's pictures on both sides of these. Oh yeah, this has Peter Rabbit on it. Or it looks like Peter Rabbit. But it has a cute picture on the other side too. That's the only one I have any trouble with, I think. Yeah, this one. These are, okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to look at the other side again. But I want to cut them down. A little bit I don't want them to be quite this big because they're kind of they'll kind of be too big for the journal but I need to do each one kind of separately separately because I would almost be tempted to do them all at once and cut I like a couple at a time to save time but uh, you can see how the picture goes a little bit more over there over to the side on this one and this one has a big kind of bigger white space there or a blank space so I'm going to go ahead and cut these down a little bit with you guys so if we don't mind and let me raise you up a little bit because you're a little close there I don't know if you can see quite quite well enough there that might be a little better 
So, uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. <laughs> uh, so I hope you're having a nice weekend and it's kind of, uh, it's kind of weird this week. We've had a nice, uh, warmish week, not too cold. So I saw daffodils this week and I saw some red bud trees blooming. So really beautiful. Spring is springing here in my neck of the woods. And, but today, but today it got a little cold, but then I looked for onto, like I was wondering earlier before it got cold today, uh, or yesterday, I guess it was, I was looking at the 10 day forecast and it's going to be quite, quite a bit warmer, even getting up to about 80 degrees, one or two days next week in February. <laughs> I don't think that has ever happened since I've lived here since 2000 that it's gotten up to almost 80 degrees in February. I mean, usually I count myself lucky if it uh, gets uh, up to 50 in February. But 80 degrees is uh, just a gift for me, I think, because, you know, this Florida girl is ready for some warm weather. So... <laughs> Anyway, so that has put me into, of course it always does anyway, no matter what temperature. By the time end, end of February starts approaching, I just, I'm like, okay, it can be spring now. <laughs> just come on. I'm done with, I'm pretty much just grin and bear it through the winter. And then, you know, I'm happy when it warms up. So, I mean, it's not that I'm not happy in December or January or um, February, but... Okay, yeah, I gotta keep track of what side I'm going down here. Yeah, these little pictures are so cute in here, aren't they? Uh, the Be Benjamin Bunny, you know, all the little Peter Rabbit and Beatri Beatrix Potter pictures. So yeah, I wanted to put something down on the back besides file folder like I usually do, you know, or or you know, a lighter cardstock. I wanted to put something down would be be kind of springy but yet you could write on it so that's my that's my plan here so here's another I'm going to round the corners after we get them get them glued the little pages glued down and uh, yeah, this is a little vintage book too it's it's a vintage book that I've had for quite a while now and I've been wanting to make some little journals out of these types of books these little Beatrix Potter books and so I said, this is the year. This is the year it's happening. <laughs> it's happening whether I like it or not. <laughs> you know? No, I like it. I'm just saying it's, I wanted it to happen. So it is happening. Okay, but there's two blue ones. I don't want to do them all blue. Let's do a couple pink ones here. Uh, this one's cute. Let me go to the other side again. Okay. <laughs> I can't not look. Okay. All right. All right. We're good to go. This is... This is, um, they're also cute. Okay. This is going to be a smaller one. But small is good because this is a small journal, you know? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Uh, do, getting to the point where I am now with this journal I'm working on. I put the Rick Rack on the front. It's the last thing I did before this video. And I wasn't really planning on putting Rick Rack on the front. But when I kind of auditioned it. That orange Rick Rack, it just like brought such a nice, uh, beautiful kind of color. And it wasn't, it didn't look quite plain before because of the fabric. But it just made it like more special, I guess, or something like that with the, you know, with the Rick Rack. It just made it so much cuter. So there you go. That's Rick Rack from Dollar Tree. I will show you in a second the little packages I got. I haven't gotten around to getting getting a uh, getting them on one of my Thursday Thrifty Thursday videos. So I guess I'll go ahead and show you show you them now since I am using them. But let me just get these pictures uh, glued down here because I don't want to run out of time here and not get anything done. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, come craft along with me. Uh, let me know in the comments what you are working on. A project if you're working on a journal or whatever kind of project you're working on even if it's just a little project for today 
if you're working on some tags or journal cards or, you know, whatever you're making. Uh, I think it's fun to find out what people are making because, you know, maybe someone's losing their mojo and they don't know what to do. So that would help them to give them ideas of what they could work on. Or, um, you know, it just gives people ideas too, even if you haven't lost your mojo. <laughs> you know, and it, it, it's also a reminder. I was thinking that today. It's a reminder when you put a comment of ideas and things like that in, in the comments. It gives people uh, reminders also, not just ideas, like a new idea. Like It's a reminder, like, oh yeah, I wanted to do that too, you know. I forgot all about that. I wanted to do that. I mean, it happened, you know. You know it does. <laughs> so why not help people and leave me some comments about you, what you're working on. And uh, I would love to hear it. I would love to hear it. And I think other people would too. You know, I mean, don't you read the other comments when you when you leave a comment? Don't, don't you go and look at at least a couple or one or two? Because you, I kind of, I'm kind of like, well, what people? What are people saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? What are other people saying? You know, sometimes I don't have time, but usually I kind of stop and read at least a couple to see like what what are, what are people saying about my friend here? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> you know, people have, I don't, I don't, I can't tell you the last time I found, I saw uh, a comment that wasn't nice. I mean, everybody is, is so nice. And uh, so, yeah, no problem, no problem there. Not complaining at all. Everybody is super nice, so it's nice to read the comments and, and just, you know, you want people to say things, nice things about your friends, right? So it's encouraging to everyone, I think. All right, let's see, make sure these are glued down. So I've got three on the pink, two on the blue. I don't want to, I think that might be enough because I've got, I'm going to put some tags in here too. And then just some regular ephemera that somebody can have fun with and make things with. So let's see, how do I want to cut, what's the fastest way to cut these out? Uh, the fastest way would be for me to find my scissors. <laughs> what in the world did I do with them? They have just disappeared. I have some here that I didn't want to use right now. Oh, that is weird because I was just using them. And they're probably right in front of me. Let me make sure. Wow, they have actually disappeared and I did not take them anywhere. Okay, that's okay. And I'm going to stop talking about my scissors and used to use these. This one does not have enough glue here. Hold on. Doesn't have enough glue. Right, I want to put too much. I should be putting my I should put my little silver t cat box back on there, but I'm kind of enjoying not fighting with it all the time and it getting jammed up and having to put my pin in there and get it flowing and <laughs> it's just nice for it to work for a change without fighting with that little that little silver top. You know what I mean? So we'll see. I just uh, cleared it out though. It was. I haven't, I haven't been using this silver top that much, but just before this video, I looked at it and it was clogged, a little clogged up. And I just unclogged it a couple of weeks ago, so I don't know. And I haven't been using it that, that much, so I don't know how it got so clogged. But it is what it is. <laughs> okay, I want to cut these out. I'm just cutting them with my scissors because I think it might be a little faster than trying to get around these little pieces with my paper cutter, which I have right here, but... I just thought, and I was going to use that, but when I looked at them, I realized how little they are. I thought, mm, let me go ahead and use my. See, now we've got the picture in the front. The back is the pink, and I'm going to round the corners. Let's see. They always look so cute with rounded corners. So, and there we have a cute little Beatrix Potter bunny drawing card. And right on the back. Okay. Let's get the other ones going here. And I'm going to show you those trims in just a second. I just want to make sure we get these done. I don't want to run out of time. So, also, if you want to let me know your weekend plans, <laughs> what are you doing this weekend? What are you doing? What's great to do? Are you just uh, crafting this weekend? Is it cold and snowing where you are? Is it uh, 
Are you crafting? Are you having a party? You know, <laughs> what, are, what are you doing? I am having my family over with for our weekend, weekend uh, family dinner, as we call it. And I think we're having hamburgers today. And uh, we decided to call. We always call. We always call when they, we get together on Saturdays. We call it our family dinner day. We've always called. We've called it that for quite a while now. And last weekend, we or the last couple of weeks, we started calling it Granddaughter Day. <laughs> so that's what happens when you have grandchildren. Everything changes, at least uh, for me and us. I mean, I had to baby proof my house, and I uh, have things that I like. You know how when your kids, when you first have kids, and you have like toys everywhere. Well, now I have. I don't have toys everywhere. I'm hoping not to get to that point, but I do have toys in my living room now for her. So when she comes over, you know, she's not, you know how little kids are. I mean, we see her every week, and sometimes we see her more than once a week, but she's still a little shy when she, she's just that type of kid that she's a little shy. Like for two seconds, she's a little shy when she first gets to my house. So I have the toys in the living room, a little basket of toys. And a couple of things for her to play with. So when she comes in, besides seeing her her Mimi, <laughs> that should be enough, right? She sees the toys and she's not shy. But she, um, you know, whenever I babysat, she's never even missed her parents. Like never cried, never like looked out the window or like, where's mama, dada? And it's like, <laughs> it's pretty funny because she's so like, Kind of like need you know grabs onto them when they're here you know when she first gets here after she gets here for a minute she's fine but um when uh when they leave her here she's just like all you know she's fine she doesn't complain <laughs> so it's, and they're like when they come back they're like was she okay you know does she miss us does she cry nope <laughs> she was perfectly fine. It's pretty funny. Okay, so we got three done. Just trying to make sure all the edges are down, and they are. They are cute, aren't they? I mean, I could add a little tab or something, but I don't want to cover up any of the pictures, so I probably won't add anything. And then they look. These look real pretty with the blue and the pink. That's a pink one. There's a pink one, and so that's very you know writing space there journaling space, journal cards, and then here's the other one. Do we cut them all out? That was pretty quick, right? So let me show you those packages I got from Dollar Tree real quick that I'm using. Uh, because I got these, when I saw them, I, I mean, I knew I was going to make this journal. And when I saw them, I thought, oh my goodness, I have to get those because they will be perfect in this little Beatrix Potter uh, journal that I want to make. And, I mean, I didn't have to have them, but they're just, the packages are just so adorable. I mean, Dollar Tree is really exp impressing me lately <laughs> with some of their stuff. So, and now I've torn it apart. It was beautiful when I picked it up, but uh, I've already torn it apart a little bit. So, here is, I got this one, which I used uh, the Rick Rack on the cover, and the carrot I used on that little embellishment. I don't know if I showed it to you yet. But a little embellishment and then the pom pom. I considered using this pom pom, but I thought it might overpower this book a little bit because it's so bright, you know, very, you know, it's a bright orange. So I used this yellow pom pom. So this is another package I got. And uh, so it's got the yellow. I used the yellow pom pom and the yellow rick rack in the journal. So it comes with this. Well, I'm showing you back. Let me show you the front. It's a three-piece trim pack, and they have these three. I don't know if they have any more as far as different types. I just picked out my favorite ones, but this has a little chick. And they're so cute because, look, they are actually stitched, the little chicks. They're actually stitched. They have stitching around the outside, and the eyes, nose, and feet are stitched on, like like embroidery kind of thing. Like, they're actually stitched on there. It's, that's pretty amazing, right, for $1.25? And then this, I got this one. I used one of these bunnies in there. I didn't use the, you know, the, it's got the pink 
Rick Rack and a pink uh, uh, pom pom trim there. I just used one of these bunnies, and I wasn't sure what they were made of when I before I took them out of the package. I thought they almost looked plastic. Don't they almost look plastic? But they are fabric, little fabric bunnies, and they almost they are a little like puffy. They're not like they're not they're flat, but they're actually a little puffy too. Like not real puffy, but they're not flat like paper if you know what I mean and they got they have the pink gingham on both sides so very cool the chicks I just showed you have a backing and then uh, let's see did I show you the chicks yeah I think I did I show you everything the pink the orange I did want to say um, yeah this is the one I used I used this on the cover I did not use this but I wanted to show you this real quick I think I already showed you this package but the carrots have a stitching around the outside too. And the little uh, green topper on the carrot is stitched on. And then they have a backing on them. The same with the chicks. They have that same kind of like facing, you know, that you use to, on with you, you know, sewing. Uh, they have that facing kind of fabric on the back of the chicks. So I used that in there. And then I got this package. Uh, it's out of the bag. No, par partially in the bag. This package of, uh, it's called, here's the topper from it, four-piece uh, felt sheets. I've got this package, which they have um, solid, solid, and two polka dot of the same color, you know, green and orange, shape, orangey, yellow, orange, whatever. So I used a little piece of this. I cut some circles out of it. That, and they're like this, four sheets of uh, felt, and they're thin. So that's a good thing because you can cut it easy. The thicker fabric, you know, would be harder to, I mean, the thicker felt is a little harder to cut. Not impossible, or anything. of course you can cut it, but this is even easier to cut because I, it's thinner. And I, I thought that was really, actually really good, a good thing. And then um, the other felt I got was, let me grab it, uh, this package here, which I have also used some of this blue sheet but it's the same type of thing except this has two shades of blue well this kind of aqua color here and that it's the solid dotted solid and dotted again in this package and those were the dot those were all the packages I showed you were a dollar twenty five they weren't on a three dial you know three or five dollar aisle they were a dollar twenty five each and I thought these were really um, especially these right here these little packages were uh, such a bargain. There's one yard each, by the way, of the trims. It doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, this, you know, <laughs> uh, it depends on how you use it and how fast it will go, of course. But I got a string here. But uh, yeah, I think it's perfect. These three packages will probably last me more than this year, depending on how many like spring journals I make. I mean, I could use them all up if I make a bunch of the Beatrix Potter or Easter slash spring journals but if I if I don't make a bunch of those then I will certainly have plenty for next year too so uh, that was fun right let's let's put these in here see where we might, might put these and then after the video I will put the rest of the ephemera in get a little goodie bag or you know envelopes you know goodies in an envelope and hopefully tomorrow I will have a flip through oh and I pulled out some buttons too to put on the strings I was going to show you those I've got uh, carrots two carrots <laughs> aren't they cute these came from Happy Mail two carrot buttons and a bunny so I'm going to put these on the strings there's three signatures so I have three of those let's just go through real quick and put a couple of you can put a good size one in here Let's see, the biggest one is, let's see, this is the widest one here, so let's put that there. Oh, it fits perfect in there. Right, oh, does it fit perfect? It's almost too, it's almost too big. See, I told you we needed small uh, journaling cards. There's a string there or something there. Let me get that. Okay, and then, let's see, we can flip over here and put, I pictured myself putting these on here, so as like, um, maybe together like uh, let's see let's see let's see let's even up these strings it'll be easier to put the, the button on here 
And so I thought maybe put the strings together. I have done that before. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to put one string in there. See, let's try the other one. One string like that and then tie it together at the bottom in a little knot so it can't come off. And that will be my little centerpiece string decoration there. And uh, somebody got this journal and they wanted to change that. This wax, this is um, wax thread here. And this is really easy to, I think it's really easy to untie if you ever want to. I just stick my little awl or my pokey tool in kind of in the middle of the knot and kind of just loosen it up. So it's actually really easy to untie. Right now I'm going to tighten it up though. <laughs> so this doesn't come off. All right. So there is my carrot hanging there. And then the next, let's see, do we have any more pockets here that we can put a journaling card in? Not right here. Okay. I can always clip them on too. That's my flip up. And I know I have at least one more pocket. So uh, let's see. Oh, here's some more strings. Let's put the bunny here. I do want to get these even though. I think that's maybe easier to tie a knot at the end if they're even. So a little bunny here. Let's see, how do I want, how will he hang? Let's put him like this. Because his front needs to hang properly so we can see him from the front. And he's hanging down. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, I'm going to try to tie a little knot on the end here. Double knot. See, this wax thread is so uh, slippery that it uh, almost is hard to tie a knot sometimes. A knot like that. Okay, there we go. See, there he is. Isn't he cute? <laughs> so, and then the next one, let's go ahead and do the other carrot. Because I'm running out of time here. And I don't want my... Oh, those are perfect. Okay. Yeah, let me see. That one looks like it's a little... Uh, this is smaller on the end of this one, so I can get this one in here. And again, I'm going to hang it like this. Just got glue in my fingernail there. Oh, it's still on me. <laughs> Drives me a little nuts. Okay, there we go. Yep. Okay, so yeah, my time is running out, but I hope everyone has a great Saturday, a nice weekend, whatever you're doing. Like I said, let me know what you're working on in the comments so that you can encourage other people and also give other people an idea, especially if they're losing their mojo and they don't know what to work on. Sometimes just a little comment will be like the perfect thing to give them an idea of what they might want to work on. So, yeah, we can help each other like that, right? There we go. So cute, right? Okay, so where's my other pocket? Uh, shoot, oh, well, I can put one back here in the belly band. Let's see if that one fits in there. Perfect. And let's see, where's that other pocket? It is right here. And we'll put one here. And the others I might clip on these two somewhere. Because I want to put, I'll put something, if I put something else here, I want it to be something different, like a tag or something. But those are cute. Look at that bunny sticking out of that little pocket there. <laughs> so cute, right? All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a Great day. I hope you enjoyed the progress on this journal. There's the pom-poms. And I'll see you in my next video. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Hopefully I will have it done and uh, I'll have a flip, flip through for you. See you later.